Hello, Chris here, uh, Real L140, whichever name you like to use or, or not, just uh, call me thing. Um, I've been beer shopping today, uh, up to Favourite Bears in Cheltenham, my favourite beer shop. Um, unfortunately I missed Lee, the proprietor, um, he was out, out this afternoon, uh, probably preparing for his uh, German beer fest, mini, mini beer fest tasting thing he was doing this evening. So um, I had to do my beer shopping unguided. Um, I'm not a complete novice, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up today. So, starting with, this is the box here by the way. Ooh, heck, it's all falling over. Okay, let's start with something quite unusual. Now, I've had this recommended to me a number of times. This is the, let's see if we can get this to focus in. I'll come out of the focus there. It's the Mary Brewing Coconut Porter. There we go. So that's one. Then this is something new. I've not seen this brewery before. There, this is the Art Brew. Focus, you swine. This is their Monkey IPA. Um, they also do a Spanked Monkey, um, which I would suggest you didn't look up on the internet just in case you get into trouble. That's a six point four percent IPA. Um, looks like they brew at a different brewery, so um, maybe brewers that kind of jump around the place and do different stuff. Uh, nice Arbor Ales Imperial Impy Stout, actually named Impy Stout. And if this thing will, there's nothing to see. It's a black label, 11% Impy Stout. Now this I got specially for the wife. And uh, there we are. This is from Flying Dog, and this is a pearl necklace. Let's see what she makes of that. I might surprise her with it. Then we've got Arbor Ales. This is their raw. It's a coconut stout. So I thought, as I'm investigating the coconut porter, uh, I should probably try the coconut stout while I'm at it. There we go. 5.8% on that. Something else from Summer Wine Brewery. I try and buy something there is every time I go to favourite beers. You can get these all over the internet and things. Um, this is their uh, teleporter. It's a 10 malt porter. You'll notice there's a mixture of hops, big hoppy things, and quite malty things, and it's kind of extremes at this time of year for me. This is something I've bought a number of times. I haven't actually got to reviewing it yet um, because it's too damn good. I just want to drink it every time I buy it. Um, it's not going to focus, there's too much, too much stuff on the label. Uh, this is the Oakmel's Green Devil IPA. If you can find it, buy it. It is an absolute treat. And this is the, uh, the kind of the baby brother. This is the Oakmel's Citra. Nice beer. I'll see if I can get a review of it up for you. I may have drunk it by then. Um, Bristol Beer Factory. Acer. This is the, kind of the equivalent of the Thornbridge Wild Swan or the, um, the Buxton. Oh, what's it called? The 3.8% beers that they do, you know, the number of the brewers now are doing slightly weaker beers that are, oh, they're not going to fall foul of the tax thing for one, but also everyone should have a range where you have a lower kind of, less than 4% beer. Um, did I show you this? I can't remember. Arrogant Bastard Ale. I do like the description of this, I shall relish reading that or parts of it to you when I do the review. This is from a new brewery. Uh, if you haven't had anything from this brewery yet, do search them out. Uh, this is from the Tiny Rebel Brewery. This is their Baby's Got a Temper, so this is their double IPA. Um, I've had their triple IPA, Hadoken on tap. Um, got a bit messy, frankly. I would drink it again though, because it was bloody marvellous. Fathomless. So, something from Red Willow Brewery. Not enough contrast for that. Um, it's an oyster stout, so, they, so it's got oysters in it. Yeah. That can only be a good thing. Everyone likes oysters. And then Buxton Brewery, Dark Nights. So this is their US style porters. First time I've seen this one uh, pop up, so quite excited about trying that. Now. That wasn't the only beer that I got. 
Oh, I'm just going to fumble behind the camera for a sec. Talk amongst yourselves. This, my friends, is the 12 beers of Christmas. All stouts. All from the Bristol Beer Factory, one of my favourite brewers at the moment. They're really, really excellent. So, standard Bristol stout. Boom. This is a smoked chilli chipotle stout. Boom. This is the milk stout. Lovely, lovely drink. Really, really just creamy and yummy and tasty. I shall relish it again. Uh, this is a stout. And I don't know if that's going to pick up. Yes, it is. This has been stored in pork casks. Brewed and... and just, I'm just looking forward to that so much. Love ports, love beer. Next door's dogs have suddenly got nuts. Not sure what that's about. Um, this is their Imperial Stout Eastern Whiskey Casks. Now I've got the, I've had the Glendivet. I've got the Leapfrog or Leapfrog or however you pronounce the damn thing. Apologies to Scottish people. But that just says Whiskey Casks, so I have to check what that is. This is a standard Imperial Stout. Always a good standby. Very strong. That comes in at eight and a half percent. Creme brulee stout. Ooh, baby. Another Imperial Stout Asian whiskey cast. That's the, ah, oh, right, that's in Space Side. We've not had the Space Side one. This is the Ultimate Stout, which is fantastic. 7.5%. Utter loveliness. This one is their Ultimate Raspberry Stout, so it's a fusion of the Ultimate Stout with hordes of raspberries. Looking forward to that, baby. This is the Mocha Stout, again, there are so many treats in this beer box. And they don't make them all year round, they make them for Christmas. And this one, I'm guessing this is if you're a little bit poorly. Let's see if we can get what the words say on there. It's not going to do it because of the contrast. This is a, a black currant and licorice stout. How good does that sound? Right, well, I did pick up some Perry and stuff for the wife. You want to see that. It's about beer here. Um, if you want to subscribe, then you could do that. Um, if not, you follow me on Twitter, at RealEd140. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm going to go and enjoy this beer. See you again. Cheers.